about to duck into round number one. Jed Wilson home from the blue corner. Liam O'Connor from the red. Three two-minute rounds in the middleweight division here. Let's go. Bell has been rung. Straight over the kicks. Liam. Oh, oh heavy shot there by Jed. Not mucking about it. We're not going to have any feeling out at all either. No, Jed, Jed's coming from uh, Monster Muay Thai for, under James Berlami, and he doesn't muck around James. He's, oh, a bit of a low blow there. Yeah, James trains them hard down there. P pads are hard, sparring's hard. He's a good shaking it off. There you go, nice show of uh, respect there. Heavy shots from both fighters. Heavy leg kicks. I think that really comes down to how you train too. If, you, if you're on the bag and on the pads and everything and you give 100% when you're um, executing stuff at training, that's how you're going to do it in the ring. But if you're tip-tapping on the bag, it becomes almost a habit and that's how it's transferred over into the ring too. I think it's really important to keep that in mind when you're training too. Definitely a testament to uh, both fighters' gyms. Neither man gave either a second to uh, feel out or see how he could go. Oh, solid right there by Jed. Nice kick to the body. Nice high kick. Clenched up now. Jed's on the ropes. Trying to take Liam down. Superman punch there. The style of these boys are really similar too. They're both sort of throwing hard hands. Their body types are similar. Um, their clinching type is similar. It's almost like you have to be um, aware in the fight that that person is fighting quite similarly to you and try and find a, a way that um, is going to be different and, and to sort of get that, that one up on them. Oh, he's got that nice top lock around there. Some very hard knees as well. Well, that was round one, and it was a bit of a supercharged round <laughs> one as well, Kaylee. Whew. It was uh, brought to you all thanks to Orange Motor Group, based out of New South Wales. They're also uh, going to be sponsoring the big main event matchup at the WBC title fight we'll see later on. But. Uh, bringing us this one too and I must say I like what I saw there. Yeah you can see that Jed's in the corner he doesn't have James there I'm not sure where James is tonight but I'm sure wherever he is he's uh he's feeling pretty proud of Jed. Yeah it was a good outing by both fighters they both went in very heavy very fast it was uh <laughs> exciting stuff. Hopefully yeah, so like I was saying, because they are very similar in what they're doing and what they're throwing, it's almost like you need to think of how you're going to beat yourself. That's, I came up against a really good Thai girl, and she was actually beating me, and I had to think, how, how am I going to beat myself? And then I had to go in there and try and execute that. So I almost have to think ahead a little bit. It's a very cool way to look at it. As we are back underway here in round number two. Looks like neither fighter has... Uh, any desire to slow down. Oh, massive flurry there by Liam and a elbows there as well from Chad. Oh, returned with a massive high kick to the face. Oh, the right hook there. Oh, kick right to the face there from Liam. It's almost like a grin of agreeance and respect from both fighters there after that one. See Jed's knees are a little bit more effective there. They're coming down into the center a little bit. Oh, some hard elbows there to the top. Ooh, very hard. If those uh, pads weren't there, he definitely would have got cut then. <laughs> Just got a uh, warning there. Bad elbow into the back of the head. Oh, he's got an eight count. A little bit on the late side, but... 
side for Liams. Good to go. Get back into it. Oh. Another elbow shot there by Oh. You can definitely see that he's been rocked a little bit. I think the best thing for him to do now is just to try and stay in the clinch and recover a little bit. Stumble over there by Lim. Jettis has been unrelenting. Big knee shots here. Looks like Liam's doing what uh, you suggested, trying to... Trying to recover in that clinch, yeah. Jed's throwing some good hard knees. Uh, Liam's knees are to the legs, which aren't as effective. Jed's throwing those knees, and they're coming straight down the centre too. Oh, Liam's charging with another one of those Superman punches. Oh, there we go. Round number two, all thanks to the Orange Motor Group. Oh, that was a long time back there. Some very <laughs> heavy and hard shots there. What a treat we're having here tonight at Muay Thai Grand Prix. I'm not sure what happened with that eight count. I, I know that he got those elbows to the back of the head and then stopped. And then uh, Jed was told to go to the neutral corner. And it was, a, you know, up maybe 10 or 15 seconds before the count was started. So I don't know whether it was the initial elbow or whether he sort of sat down and said no one had a break, which I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. Interesting to see how it how it affected him. Uh, Liam was a, a little bit uh, slow to get going afterwards yeah. as well. So, yeah, I think the best thing to do when you're in a position like that, because you are a little bit potentially rocked, is just to lock on and try and stay nice and close to your opponent, rather than be at a distance and potentially be getting hit by those big bombs that Jed's throwing. Definitely don't want to uh, try and engage any more head contact after something like that but here we go great show of respect there by both fighters you do love to see it as here we go in your third and final round Jed Wilson home in the blue corner Liam O'Connor in the red middleweight action oh nearly on top of us <laughs> <laughs> smiles there from Jed. <laughs> it's great how respectful both fighters are. Ooh, high knee there by Jed. Jed with those elbows again. Good, nice step up knee, uh, uh, like a fake there and coming down with that elbow. Very well done there. Ooh. Hard body shots there by Jed Wilson home. Oh, that hurt him. I was going to say, that's James Bertolami style. Nice body shot. Just right on the mark. I think those knees and stuff that, as well prior to that would have contributed to softening that area as well for sure. It's a solid opening for Jed now as well. Liam, Liam probably has a little bit of wind knocked out of him. There you go again. Dropped in with a solid straight body shot. And once that area is sensitive from something like that, it's so hard to recover from. Yeah, not sure if the live stream's picking it up as well, but that was a loud shot as well. Oh, and again. Jed's got himself a target now. It's almost like, do I punch it or do I knee it? Oh! Whoa! What a high kick to the face. What a opportunity oh. by Liam. What a comeback. Jed very light on his feet here. What a turn of events. Oh. I'd say he's saved by the bell there. Oh, 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 oh. That's your third and final round thanks to Orange Motor Group. And wow. <laughs> what a way to wrap up this one, Kaylee. How no, about fourth, it? Fourth round would have been interesting. Oh. Man, oh man.
Jed Wilson home gets the win out of the blue corner. Kaylee, what a fight. I was just saying to you that, you know, for, for fighters watching this or uh, that are going to watch it, that is pure proof that you do not give up till the end. You know, he, he had him rocked then and anything could have happened. Um, if that had gone to a fourth round, he could have got that decision. So it just goes to prove, guys, don't stop until you are stopped, basically. <laughs> could not have put it better myself. Amazing action here at the Muay Thai Grand Prix. Well done, boys. Great fight.